hello and welcome back everybody in this video we are going to be creating an uh, email uh, kind of like an email capturing pop-up that is going to come up when someone is trying to leave our website and we're going to use this for a lead magnet to give users uh, access uh, to like a PDF or something like that, whatever your lead magnet is, and to also capture their email address and add them to our, our MailChimp. So the way we do it, it's going to be with Elementor. We go to Elementor uh, templates, pop-ups, and we're just going to, as you can see, I was already playing around with it. So we're going to create a new pop-up, click on add new pop-up, pop-up, we'll just call it membership sign up create template uh, just yeah we're just going to build this one from scratch you can actually use any of these uh, pre-built pop-ups but I'm just going to create one, one from scratch so I'm going to add a section here uh, give it a little bit of padding top and bottom so like 30 pixels 30 pixels and maybe like 10 and 10 on the sides so what I'm going to add right now is going to be a progress bar. Just drag and drop it here. Which is going to say, uh, just going to say almost, almost there. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to say like 50% here. We're going to remove this text, this piece of text here. Go to style and just change the background color here to be oh not this one let's just uh, use this one and let's just change the color here I think yes this one uh, so and let's just give it a margin bottom of like 10 pixels or so now I'm going to drag a heading here it's going to say uh, free guide Become a top digital digital marketer in less than 30 days. Just going to make it H4 maybe. Uh, center it. Uh, change the style. Let's change the color to be black. Typography. Let's use a smaller font size, maybe like 20 pixels. And line height is going to be like 1.5. And so I'm going to add a form here. We're going to be using this form. I believe it's this one. Uh, yeah. So we don't need a message field. We just need a name and email fields. So I'm going to make them required. Both of them required. Uh, label. You can just remove the label here and remove the label. Move the label here, but let's just let's just use it for now. Um, I believe we can change it later. Uh, here, in uh, field, can I change it or can I not change it? Yeah. All right. So let's. Yeah, we can hide it here. So let's go to style field. Just going to make it zero. Uh, we're with yeah let's, let's leave it at one for the radius let's make it zero and form let's just increase the row gap to be like 20 and let's change the submit button to say uh, download actually let's go back to style button background color let's just use the regular color that we're using and for hover color we're going to be using this dark darker green one sorry and so let's go back to content and now what I want to do is go to actions after submit so we can uh, this email thing is going to send us an email if we uh, after the user submits this form but I'm just going to remove this one for now and I'm going to find let's say MailChimp and so now if I go to MailChimp it says 
set your MailChimp and API key in integration settings. So if I click, right click on it, click on open link in new tab, uh, go back to my MailChimp account, extras API keys, and just going to copy this one and paste it in here and click on validate key. Boom, it's good. Save changes and yeah so now as you can see it's updated and we can use the delete list to add people to the to the list we're going to for the email uh field in mailchimp we're going to say to use the email field from the form and for the first name we're going just to use the name field and we're going to click on publish and here is the important part so the conditions i want this to be visible on maybe just on single page on the home page yeah so I want this to be visible only on home page and triggers I'm going to make it on page exit intent next save and close uh, I believe it should be working so let's see this in action so if I, if I go to my home page, if I scroll, nothing's happening. But if I try to navigate to this exit, uh, it shows me this uh, this pop up. So if I say here, Andre test at mail at I don't know uh, supermail.com, click on download. Form was sent successfully. Uh, yes, and here right now, if I go to audience leads we have one contact in here which is this this guy so what you can do now is you can uh, we're not going to do this in this tutorial but in MailChimp what you can do is basically when someone gives you this his details you can have a campaign and the first email in that campaign uh, can uh, have a PDF which is your lead magnet or link to your video which is a lead magnet so whatever you want you can kind of do this in MailChimp uh, but the idea here of this tutorial is to show you how to add this pop-up and how to connect it to MailChimp so that you can basically capture people's address and what I'm going to do is uh, show you one more thing so as you can see this pop-up hasn't uh, hasn't been closed so what we can do is go back to our pop-up and in actions after submit we can say I believe we can say give me a second yeah right trips like pop-up and here in pop-up we can say close pop-up and click on update we can also check this checkbox saying don't show again so people once they see it once they won't see it anymore yeah but if I go back to the page I refresh it let's say I navigate back to the exit let's say test one two three at super mail.com download it says the form was sent successfully and it closes right so and in MailChimp I should have two contacts right now yeah so it's working uh, so thanks for this tutorial in next video we're going to go through all these steps and processes that uh, a member has to take in order to become a paid member so we're going to kind of log in as him and see what he what he sees on our website and yeah we are going to be ready to go with our membership site. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments area and have a nice day. Bye.